Hi guys, so today I have a new set to play with that uh, Diane Press brought to HSN. Um, these items were sent free of charge from my review, and of course all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission for your purchase items to those links. I am very curious to see this because it's called Lovely Floral Imprint Dies, and that has piqued my interest. Oh, I knew it. As soon as I saw the word imprint, oh my gosh. So um, by now, maybe, you know, Beth or uh, Diane Press had a sneak peek kind of preview thing that maybe you've checked out. Um, I don't know because sometimes I, you know, right now, full disclosure, I'm filming this way ahead of time. So there are there are a lot of new fun things that Diane Press is bringing to HSN. I had no idea these were in the works. So we will definitely try these out. Um, you guys know with these kind of dies, I prefer to just stamp into, like, paper without inking them and things like this. But we'll try them, you know, a couple different ways and see what we got here because oh my gosh and this is exactly the kind of designs I would want to see oh I'm just I'm blown away already just because <laughs> I know they're gonna imprint really nicely into metallic papers you know um, things like that uh, just regular paper and you can even come over with some distressing after you do that I, I'm a big fan of this kind of thing right so as you can see here these are just florals and butterflies and tons look how many are on this one uh, sheet and over here we have like um, sentiments you know like plaque kind of looking sentiments or like the whole label excuse me and we have a little flower and little leaf on this one still and then we have um, a note to say hello thanks um, you're so kind you're on my mind well that's lovely lots of love and your kindness warms my heart <laughs> I'm reading it backwards, so. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, and then, um, you know, so they're showing you here kind of what that might look like. And, you know, we'll try out with the inks. I'm going to try with pigment inks because they stick. If you're using like a water based ink, it's going to repel. This is metal. They do feel like they're a different um, texture, you know? So that's good to know, good to feel already. These are clearly different than what Dye Impress normally does. They do, you know, black dyes. Um, and they're coated in a different um, coat, I think. Um, again, like, I'm just going by feel. And then it comes with, of course, a cutting folder. Of course, if you don't have a Dye Impress marquee, don't worry. Any machine that cuts thin metal dyes will cut Dye Impress dyes. The marquee will cut any other thin metal dyes. Um, I get that question almost daily so I always want to remember to mention that and hopefully people who need that info will hear it and they're saying you're using a dye ink pad uh, ink desired dye on cut side place dye ink side down on cardstock place in blank folder and run through die cut tool and if desired secure dye to cardstock with washi before closing the folder um, so that you know it doesn't shift and things like that because of course it's ink it's gonna smear if it shifts at all um, so I mean we're just gonna you know, hit the ground running. We're just going to try it out. Um, yeah. So again, we'll try it with different types of paper, just dry, and then we'll try it with some ink and see what happens. Again, I'm not even going to try just a water-based ink because I know it's going to probably beat up. Um, at least that's been my experience with these types of dyes in the past, but uh, I'll definitely grab some pigment ink and we'll go from there. Okay, I have lots of different scraps of paper here that we're just going to try with just to see different things. Metallic paper, of course. Uh, pearlescent paper. And this is just regular cardstock. It's a little bit textured, but yeah. Um, okay, so let's see. I'm trying to think what I want to do, who, what, where. <laughs> let's, uh, let's do this guy on this pearlescent paper. And then let's try out, sorry, I have my window open, guys. Um, this big one on just, you know, what I would consider to be like regular cardstock. A little bit textured, a little bit thicker too, okay? Um, pearlescent card is normally a little bit thicker on its own. And then this stuff is usually pretty thick, right? When we have metallic cardstock, it's probably like 300 GSM. And I'll use that with one of the, um, these guys and then we're going to try the ink part of it okay I don't know if I'm going to put a project together I kind of want to just try these guys out but you know we'll see uh, I will use the new 
folder that comes in here. Somebody asked me the other day again about folders warping, and I was, and I usually make a point to use warped folders. They, you know, they work just fine. They'll continue working, and it'll cut, and no problem. So, okay, let's roll this one through. Hold on, let me do it straight. I'm gonna do it very slowly so I don't shake my camera too much. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And this is my preferred way of using these. I mean, look at that. You curl up quite a little bit because I think these are going to be a little bit thicker, you know, a little more um, substantial to get that embossed, right? You, they need to really push in there. So anyway, I would just massage this and lay it down. Of course, when we glue it, it's not going to be a problem. There's that one. Let me put this over here. And then we have this guy. I have it on the textured side. So we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> Again, going very slowly. I love that it cuts the edge out and all that. Oh my gosh. I mean, you guys. So pretty. And then we have this guy. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my gosh. This is pearlescent paper, and I do not know what happened, but look at how it changed that paper. Look how it's pearlescent here, and then it flattened this out, and it like matted it. I do not know what happened to make that happen, but I love it. Oh, this is my favorite one right here. My goodness. And that's what I'm saying, guys. For me, I rather use these kind of dyes with just paper and not bother with the ink. But I'm going to try out with the ink because I know you're going to be curious. So let's do that. Oh my goodness. I am telling you, they have a different feel to them. So you guys know I've reviewed things like this in the past and they still felt the same like metal to me. So I was like, well, there's nothing different here. So um, let's try them out with some ink. So, you know, it's probably going to get a little bit messy. So I'm going to put down this mat. I have the paper. Actually, I have a scrap paper. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to put that down. This is the paper I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut it down a little smaller right now. This is a very soft, smooth paper. I think it might be some Spellbinders cardstock that I used the other day. Um, very smooth. Probably 80 pound paper. I don't know. Not too thick. I would go with thicker paper though so you get that really that good push you know into your die. And I am just going to take my ink and apply it straight to the die. We might use a brayer next, but for right now, this is what I'm going to do. Again, this is pigment ink. It's a metallic pigment. And I can see it's holding onto that really well. So let's get that on there. Now, I pushed it in quite a bit, so I can see that it's in the little areas that are recessed. So that's probably not as much as I would want to put on there. But we're going to try it. Be very careful. I'm going to place that down. I am going to put some washi tape on that because I don't want it to move. <laughs> okay. And that ink washes away, so I'm not too concerned with the ink being on the outside of this. I'm going to roll this through. And then to maybe avoid getting into the little divots, we're going to try it with a brayer and see what happens. But for now, let's see what we got. Uh, I want to be careful getting this out because it is pigment ink. Hey, okay. Not bad because it did miss all these areas even though I did get ink really pushed in there. But as you can see, it did get in uh, right there. Got a little bit. But this, like, the color really is just right on there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Uh, we're going to use the same dye just so we can see the difference, you know. So I'm going to rinse this off and get it all clean. And then we're going to ink it up again, but with a brayer this time. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just grabbing my basic brayer. I mean, you see, it's well-loved. Um, I'll just put this here. And I just rinsed it. I didn't really try to really, really wash it super-duper well. But let's get this. As you can see, that's some thick stuff. That's why I like pigment inks. But I'm just going to roll over this. So this really shouldn't get into the crevices at all because... Um, it can't, you know, the, well, my brayer's a really kind of stiff kind of brayer. I am getting in there really good because this outer edge 
is I think higher than this inside part so I'm just trying to get that in there again it's not really gonna get into those recesses because it's like impossible <laughs> you know because you have a brayer um, not bad actually I can get in these little areas pretty well just trying to get the antenna done I can see that that's not colored there or there okay I'm just trying to get any other little part that I missed and now I'm smoothing it out okay so that's a little bit different and again you want to be careful obviously you have ink not too bad that we do have a nice ridge area that we can just kind of hold on to it now when I place this down I'm going to place it down I'm not going to mess with it <laughs> then we're going to put tape here tape here and we're going to run it through one more time I might try it with a dye ink for you guys just so you can kind of see what that might look like but again that wouldn't be my recommendation just having played with this kind of thing before not bad better than the first I still got a little bit in the recesses there but I think if I play with it a little bit more it would not be noticeable you know as I need to learn to play with it a little better so there's that's what that looks like with a brayer uh, I'm gonna try a wet ink I'm gonna go wash this off and what I mean by wet ink is the dye ink but um, again it's more kind of repellent it beads up those kind of things but I'll be right back okay. for this one I'm just gonna use you know again just a water-based ink this time it's gonna be a quick dry we'll see and we'll use one of these guys so these are a little bit different from like the butterfly one where the butterfly one has um, an area that's supposed to be flat and it's supposed to have color on it and in the recessed areas so I hope that makes sense like this whole flat area should have ink put on it this one has less of that going on because it's mostly um, the areas that are going to make like a outline so it's a little bit different um, style or type even though it's the same kind of dye uh, I'm just going to ink this up and go over this and I'm just going to pay attention to the the lines just make sure that I get this on those lines again wet ink <laughs> what do you call it wet ink water based dye inks I think are not the best for this type of thing but just want to show it to you guys so you kind of know what to expect and what you know would give you the most success which for me again is just paper pretty papers with that beautiful indentation embossing basically okay so there's that I did get into the recess right here but again I probably divoted into there paper Ooh, I just got right on there. I might miss it. Sorry if I'm out of frame. Again, you don't want that to shift too much on you. Or at all. <laughs> Alright. Let's run this one through. And then I'll clean up and then we'll look at our, our cuts again. Oh, <laughs> and that one popped right out. Pretty good. So I saw where I had those little pieces of blue. Like I had pointed out, I said, oh, I can see where it... I could have cleaned that up maybe with a little Q-tip and then gone there. But look at that. Lovely. All right, let me clean up and um, we'll look at all our different creations. Okay, guys. So like I said, I wasn't probably going to make a project today because we were trying out in different ways. But um, you'll definitely see these coming up in maybe some of the other review videos I have for some of the project projects for some of the products that Diamond Press brought to HSN so you'll see you know maybe a little flower spray here oh my gosh this butterfly and, you know things like that so I will bring them back but for now uh, so yeah just playing with them again I love the dry embossing this is my favorite way of using them and this is probably what I will stick to but if you do want to use inks I recommend pigment inks and I recommend using a brayer again this is the brayered one as you can see nothing went into the recesses I did get a little extra ink probably on the very edge of the die so that might be something you can walk, wipe away or just be um, cognizant of I guess just so you know because this is the first one we did with just taking the pad to the die and I got some little smudges here and there people say you know you can go in there with a q-tip 
you know, you can do whatever you like. This one, I mean, that outline is great. Again, uh, and you know what surprised me? It's not really modeled. If I look at the ink, it's just there. Sometimes you'll see that it's kind of pulled away or peeled away or beat it up, I guess. Um, it's pretty much there. I probably just could have gotten a little cotton swab, wiped that little area, that little area, that little area, and been good. So, um, yeah, no, I'm happy to see uh, Dime Press try this out because I, I really like their designs. I love that these are all like florals and butterflies. That's my preference. That's what I was hoping for, you know, so Dime Press did that, and I think that's amazing. I always love the impression dies, like, with the words and stuff like that, so this is really great. So, all right, guys, um, keep an eye out. I will definitely incorporate these in a different project. Just wanted to get, do a little tryout for you all to see uh, some of the ways that you can use them and see how they worked with that. So, all right, guys, thank you so much. Thanks so much, Dime Press, for sending these items for review. I will have the links in the description box. I'll have the images, and I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.